Hello, my name is Nicole Miller. I am at SCI in Las Vegas 2016. I'm currently at James Corwin's booth for James Corwin Fine Art. He is a very talented artist, self-taught, 24 years old. He specializes in African wildlife art, oil on canvas. He is self-taught. He's been painting for approximately four and a half years. James is the first artist to ever be a corporate partner with World Wildlife Fund. Without further ado, let me introduce you this beautiful tiger. The name of this piece is Satu Kuat. It means the powerful one in Indonesian. It's an amazing piece, oil on canvas. My favorite part about it is the eyes, absolutely beautiful. Another one of my favorite characteristics of this photo is the fine brush detail that James has put into all the fur. It's absolutely mind blowing. Another part of this photo that I absolutely love is the, the blurred background. It really pops the tiger and you really get a sense of what the tiger is thinking and feeling. For more information on James's work, you can visit us at www.jamescorwinfineart.com. Thank you so much for stopping by SCI 2016. I'm James Corwin. I'm with Safari Club International 2016 in Las Vegas. You heard a little bit about me from Nicole, but I'd like to share with you some of my favorite pieces I have on exhibit here in the show. This is a portrait of Roger the Rhino. It's a very special painting to me because while I was on safari in South Africa, I met Roger. And every day I'd go out on a game drive and I would you know, see Roger and Rosie, his partner, out um, in the bush and just beautiful animals and completely harmless. While um, those rhinos are roaming, there's 24 hour security guards on them at all time that sleep out in the bush they build no fires, often eat raw meat, and they live out with the rhinos and follow them where they go. The reason there is the security on the rhinos is because of the issues of poaching. And we were educated, my family and I, on the issues and horrors of poaching in South Africa. But it wasn't until we got home that we learned that Roger had been poached shortly after we left and Ro Rosie, who was pregnant at the time, was severely injured. She's good now, and I think she had her baby, but still, it's very, very sad to hear. And this goes on every day over Africa, and it's quite a problem. But I wanted to paint this to honor the memory of Roger. And this painting will be featured through my partnership with World Wildlife Fund and they will sell this painting to raise money for rhino conservation around the world. My next piece here is a gemsbok, or an oryx, goes by the same name. These uh, beautiful, beautiful creatures are often seen you know, throughout Africa, but often in Namibia. And I'm going down to Namibia this May and June to see them for a couple weeks, and I'm very excited. And this piece here, I, I put it at this angle to capture, capture the light coming in, but also to get the horns in there because I think their horns are pretty cool. They just go straight up. It's a neat animal. This painting here is still a little wet because I just finished it um, a couple days before I came to Safari Club. Um, but I, I had to get a Cape Buffalo into the mix here. So between Dallas Safari Club and Las Vegas, I. Uh, I try to stay up late every night to get it done. So this is a Cape Buffalo and I chose to incorporate the oxpecker birds because the buffalo and the birds share a symbiotic relationship where the birds pick and feed off of the bugs that are in the fur of the Cape Buffalo and of course the Cape Buffalo benefits from that as well. Now. The expression I chose for this is kind of like an off-putting expression, kind of like he's getting bugged, he's getting annoyed. That's why I named it the bugged boss. Kind of play on terms there, but these little birds are trying to get at his nostrils and stuff, and he's like, I don't want any more of that. You guys go fly somewhere else and choose another buffalo. So that's bugged boss. This here is a G-clay. 
A gicle is a fancy term for a reproduction print of an original painting. And this original painting sold at Dallas Safari Club. This animal here is a kudu, which is um, a very popular um, animal to be hunted um, at Safari Club in, in Africa. You'll see mounts and taxidermy of them all over. And of course, because they're such a beautiful animal, why, why wouldn't you want to see it? So this here is the, the reproduction, like I said. But the nice thing about a gicle is that they're the highest quality print, meaning they are the most true to the original painting in every detail and color and often fools the eye and tricks the viewer into guessing whether it's an original painting or a print. And often they're just a fraction of the price of the original painting. This painting here, I just love. This is Mona Lisa. Um, I named her Mona Lisa because being a lioness, of course, a woman, but I figured I just kind of saw this Mona Lisa smile in there and that was even developing as I was painting it so I knew I was going to call her Mona Lisa before I was even finished. The thing I love most about this painting is the detail in all the fur. If you get close enough you can see that every little hair is almost like it's a color of the rainbow. It's every hair there's purples, pinks, blues, yellows, reds, any color you can imagine, and each hair is a different color. So it's just this grand prismatic array of color in the fur, yet you step back and it all comes together looking very natural and very real. And that's what I really like about this painting. And again, I play in that, play with that in the grass. And something you might have noticed in my paintings is I like to pair this realistic, um, almost hyper-realistic photorealism photo detail into my portraits, yet incorporate a abstract contemporary background. And that's what you see here. So I think it's a beautiful marriage in a way of both abstract and contemporary and traditional realistic methods of painting. So that's a little bit about these paintings in this room here. And um, I, I put some of my favorites right in the center here. So I was very happy to share those with you. And thank you.